Good morning students. Today's class is very special because it is our last EVS class. Today we are going to study the last chapter of our EVS book. But before we open the textbook, tell me, what all did we learn about this subject in the previous classes? We met the nature fairy who told us about plants and animals. With a drop, we explored rains, rivers, ponds and understood the importance of saving water. We then met different kinds of families and learned that people are engaged in different kinds of work. They use different means to travel from here to there and they live in different kinds of houses. We talked about different kinds of food and learned how and in what kind of utensils is this food cooked. We learned many other things like the use of clay, how is cloth made and decorated, and yes, what are left and right. Well done! You remember almost everything. Okay, now tell me, why did we learn about all these things? Because, because it, it is, is in, in the, the book. book. Is it? So then let's try to find out why is all of it in the book. Let's go to the big hall and play a game. Students, I have placed a few pictures of things we discussed in the EVS classes on the floor. Observe them very carefully. I now need two volunteers to take the game forward. Thank you, Samina and Raju. Samina, go and stand in the middle of these pictures on the circular spot. Raju, think which all pictures are related to Samina. Then, join all such pictures to Samina by drawing a line. Done, ma'am. Raju, I also have a pet dog. Here, I have drawn a line to the dog also. Tina, now you come forward. Tell me, which all pictures will you connect a house with? I will connect the house to water and... Mm. Tell me children, what all is a house made up of? It is made up of bricks and bricks are made up of clay and water. Houses are also made from wood which we get from trees. Well done children! Now all of you come one by one and connect each picture to different things with which it is related. Samina, you too come and make these connections. Thanks for volunteering at the beginning. Well done! How does this whole floor look now? It looks like a web. We can also call it the web of life. And this is the name of our last lesson. Each thing in the world is connected to others. This is what we tried to find out through this activity. Let's go back to the class and study it in detail. And yes, all of you must repeat this activity once you reach home with the things you find around you.